Okay, this is how you use stable diffusion locally. First thing you want to do is pick a model from up here. These are ones I've already installed. If you need to install a model, you can go to Civit AI. I'll leave a link in the description and you can download new models from there. The model has a lot of impact on the outcome of your pictures. It can look cartoony or you can pick one that looks very realistic. For this, I'm gonna go with this X SDXL model. Next thing you wanna do for this model, it wants 1024 by 1024 resolution. So we're gonna do that. Batch size, this will allow you to print two photos every time or however many you want. We're gonna just do two. There's also the sampling method. There's all these to choose from. We're gonna stick with this one here. Sampling steps, I'm gonna just turn these up a little bit. This can affect the quality of the picture outcome. CFG scale, you use this, it can adjust how much the AI is affecting the image based off of your prompt. So we're gonna keep it at what it was for default seven. Clip skip, this is another option you can mess with. I don't go usually above like three. We're gonna keep it at two on the default and now we can start typing a prompt. What should we create? Cat that is made of yarn. Playing in water with rainbows in the background, obviously. Now there are some keywords and phrases you can type into these to get certain outcomes. One would be like best quality, a realistic cinematic picture of one cat made out of yarn, playing in water with rainbows in the background. You do wanna separate some things with commas. Epic pose, depth of field, cyberpunk. All right, and then in the negative prompt, this is where you put things you don't want to see. There's also keywords for here. All right, and we'll go with that for now. There are things you can download that saves you from typing this stuff every time, but this is just a beginner video. So we got our model. We got our settings like we want them. We have our prompt. Now we hit generate. This will take a little time. I only have a 3060 GPU, but it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I'll leave the link in the description to the one I have in the bottom. Ooh, this looks kind of cool. Sometimes while it's going, I'll just go over to Civit AI and you can see some things that people have posted, get ideas, see how they do certain things. This one looks cool. And here you can actually copy their data, paste it, and hopefully get something very similar to what they came up with. And you can see the prompts that they use. So this is a good learning tool. All right, let's go back. Okay, here's our pictures. That's kind of cool. The cat's not really made out of yarn though, but there you go. These came out pretty good, considering it was just quick, easy prompt. Obviously you can tweak these, you can send them to InPaint to paint things in, you can upscale. There's a lot of things you can do. So let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next. Hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please like the video.